so we're driving to another barbecue place that's uh, in my neighborhood. It's called Center Point Barbecue. And my buddy Gary, who is from Anaheim, California, uh, his son lives in the same city I do. So he's visiting for the holidays and uh, he is meeting me here. So he's visiting his son and meeting me and I think we're gonna meet his son too. So, uh, so let's head on over there. It's time for another barbecue war. It's time to eat some food. I got the family with me. Say hi. Hi. Oh, there's A back there. Hey. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, so there it is, Center Point Barbecue. We're on Main Street and Center Point Road. And uh, here's my honey. Gonna go get a table. What's up, man? What's up? Are you awake? No. Dude, it's 11.30 in the morning. Wake up. Yeah, but it's holiday break. Holiday break. Oh, and here's here's the... Uh, this is a really bold statement that every barbecue place makes. Welcome to the world's best barbecue. Make us prove it. So we're going to go inside. I'm looking for Gary. He may be in already. But uh, we're going to go inside and, and order up a bunch of things and try them all out. You're, you're blocking my view. Oh, are you filming here too? Yes, I am. Uh, Serious. In fact, I have a permit. Do you have a permit, sir? <laughs> this is Tennessee. Oh, you don't need a permit for anything. I, I got a gun. Oh. <laughs> so I don't need a permit. Hey, what's up, man? How what's, you doing? And what's your name? My name is Jeff. I just moved here in the summer. It's a pleasure, man. God bless. I think we followed each other. Yes, I think we do. Okay, so let me just uh, take a quick uh, look because we're gonna buy we're gonna buy stuff by the pound today. But I'm just gonna go down here and show you guys. And sorry about all the noise in here. It's a popular place, but uh, you can always mute it while I show you the uh, menu here. All right, there we go. Feel free to pause. I'm probably gonna go get. A pound of uh, probably gonna get a, a pound of each one of the meats, and we'll get some chicken. So we're gonna do chicken, brisket, and pulled pork. So there you go. Gives you an idea what it all costs. Look at the appetizers. You have a great sandwiches. He's only been snippets here and there. Look at this, beautiful. Beverages, of course. Obviously, sweet tea, and they cater. Check it out. Nice. Okay, I forgot to show some of the sauces they have here. What do we got? Uh, looks like we got three. We got the Big Bad Wolf, thick sweet barbecue sauce. We've got the uh, sweet mustard barbecue sauce. I'm not a fan of mustard barbecue. And then mild barbecue sauce. So we should give these a try. Okay, so I'm gonna try the Big Bad Wolf. Uh, thick sweet barbecue sauce. So, let's give that a try. Here we go. But, uh, but I mean, as far as the problem and stuff, yeah. Good flavor. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, now I'm going to do the. Uh, which one's your favorite? You do the big bad wolf. Yeah. It's thick and sweet. It's got like a baby. Yeah, it's good. To it and then the mild. I'm not very adventurous. So. Which one's your most popular? This one. That one? Okay, cool. Thank you. And then we'll try the hot barbecue. Okay, okay. Here we go. All right. We'll try that one. Whoops, that one's a little runny. I don't know why hot barbecue is always runny. Yeah. So. I don't get it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing the mustard one. All right. So Big Bad Wolf is my favorite. Poke cakes or what? It's just a flatbread and cornbread. Oh my gosh, it looks great. All right, so this is what we got, guys. We got a bunch of plates of samplers. So we're doing chicken, pulled pork. Thank you so much. Wow, this is, this is coming out all at once. Um, I thought we were doing... Is that brisket right there? Did you want brisket? Or yeah, it's supposed to be brisket. No, I'm going to get ribs. I'll go get you some beef, sorry. No, not a problem. I'll just... I'll just go get you some beef. Oh, okay. thank you so much. So you'll actually have four. All right, I won't. I won't. For some reason, I always do that. You are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we got chicken. We got pulled pork. We have ribs, and we didn't get the brisket yet. And then we got the cornbread pancake, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got an exact duplicate of it over here. So let me grab a sample of that. Yep. And then the sides. What do we got over here? We got... That's coleslaw. Right? That's the spicy coleslaw. Spicy coleslaw. And then that's beans. That's the beans. What other one did we get? I thought we had four sides. We did. What's the other side? I don't know. The oh, fries? French fries. Oh, French fries. That's right. No, no, it's all good. They're, everybody knows the fries are, but they're, home, they're homemade. They're cut here, so it's all, it's all awesome. 
Look at Jeff. You're, dude, look at him. He's and and can I say can I say where where you work? Is that okay? He just we, works at a school that's plugged in. You're you're a teacher, right? Yeah. All right, that's all I want. Uh, he's a teacher. And he's very organized. If you're watching him right now, no, I'm serious. Thank you so much. He has a scientific way of doing, setting it on his plate. He's moving things around. Well, what do we got here? Brisket. Oh, they brought us a big plate of brisket too. Nice. No worry about it. Yeah, yeah, we're family here, so it's all good. We're good with that. Okay, so Gary, what do you try? One item. Let me know which one you're gonna try. I'm gonna do the brisket because you're doing the brisket. It, it looks rare. That's how I love it. It looks beautiful. Because when it's overdone, it's so dry. I know. No, this looks wet. It looks real wet. Now take your time. No rush. Taste the flavors. We're going to be uh, rating this later, guys, by, by appearance, by taste, and by value. Okay? It's like thin sliced prime rib. It is so what? tender. It is. It's like thin sliced prime rib. How's seasoning now, it? Can you taste it? Seasoning's okay. I don't taste a lot of the smoke like you do. Maybe that's because it's rare, but it's good. It really is. Tender? Yes. Awesome. Like said, it's, you don't even need a knife. Jeff, what are you going to give us a try on, man? Uh, I'll try the rib. Try the rib. There he goes. You're a rib guy, aren't you? Uh -huh. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Just slam your face into it. Nice. And how's the rib taste in you? It's separated differently, so I don't know. It's fantastic. Is it? Yeah, it's not getting caught in my teeth either. Um, oh, okay. Did you come off the bone nice and clean? It came off the bone great. The flavor's good. You know, not too wet, not too dry. Nice. So, yeah. Tender? Very tender. Awesome. Yeah, didn't really, you know, didn't really have to chew very hard, you know. Very cool. That's that how it should sense. be. That makes any sense. No, no. It's seriously, it should be. It should hold to the bone until you're ready to take it off. Mm -hmm. What are you trying? Brisket. Brisket. Uh, big. That one's the most popular. It's sweet. It's your normal. No, it's not hot. And it's kind of thick too, which is nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jack, what are you? What are you trying, dude? He'll do the pulled oh, pork. He's doing the French fries. <laughs> Kind of similar fries to okay. The brisket. There you go. Alright, brisket. We're doing brisket, Tammy? Yeah, brisket's my favorite. Yeah, Tammy loves brisket. I need to I need to smoke her another one. She really enjoyed the one we did at the house for the show. Good? Melt in your mouth. All right, so I'm gonna do a rib like Jeff. Look how much meat's on there. I'm holding the bone part. It's very, very tiny. So I'm just gonna see how this comes off here. Look right there. See the bone? Nice and clean. Yeah. Unbelievable. So Jeff, what do you think? Oh, dude, this is the place to be. So uh, everything was good. Uh, the chicken, uh, you know, get the ribs, get the brisket, get the pulled pork, uh, get all the sauces. Uh, the spicy coleslaw, maybe a little bit too spicy. The regular coleslaw, off the hook. So uh, overall, fantastic place. Uh, Johnny Cash had it right. Hey, bud. Hey. So you traveled all the way from Anaheim, California yes, to try I this did. place. I did. And, you, what uh, do you think? I've been to three barbecue places, and so far this one's the best. And I, I take the meats for granted because I'm always a sides guy. So for me, it's the beans and the coleslaw. The beans were great, a little bit on the soft side, but still good. I tried both the slaws. I preferred that the hot and spicy. Really? Because I'm more of a vinegar guy than the mayo, because I'm right. not a mayo guy unless, so anyways, but both were good. Now, for the meats, like I said before, that brisket, <laughs> It was, it was thin sliced prime rib. You can't tell me it was brisket. And I think part of it is because it wasn't over smoked. Some meats can have that over smoked taste. Right. The brisket was great. The ribs were good. And I know they're good because if I don't have to put sauce on them, I know they're good. And the chicken, I think someone spilled the salt shaker on it. That's what I think, because they were just way too salty for the chicken. Full pork is good, but uh, uh, the brisket for me is is that's the prize. That is, you gotta you gotta come back here and make sure that they can do that two times in a row. All right. Okay. So a lot of people like your review because like teenagers and young kids kind of go by what you say. So let me have it. 
Okay, so it was awesome. Definitely a lot of meat. The chicken was a little interesting. I guess you could say it was weird tasting. But overall, I thought that the thinly sliced prime rib was really good. You mean the brisket? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the brisket. But uh, everything else was awesome. Their fries were freshly made. They were really good. I smothered that in barbecue sauce, which pretty much isn't the best thing to do when you're trying to get ready for sports to start up again. But other than that, it was really good. Come on. Yeah. Get in there. Come on. Come on, honey. Get in there. We got to know what you think. Fly over to camera. Um, I love brisket. The brisket was amazing. That was your um, favorite? That yeah, was my favorite. Always my favorite. Um, the how beans the, were pretty good. How was the cornbread? Cornbread was pretty good. A little dry. It breaks off in the sauce, so you really can't. But it was pretty good. It was a nice filler. Oh, you're too nice. That's it. <laughs> okay, so first of all, for the score, we're going to give it about a 43. And the reason why I didn't score closer to 50 was because the chicken was awful. It wasn't, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna call it like it is, because I've been doing this a long time, and if I don't say it like it is, they may not approve it. So the chicken, one piece of it was too much smoke. Like I got, on my tongue, I got a big chunk of their, their seasoning or whatever, and it just killed it. And then the other one, I don't know what happened, it was like a mouthful of salt. So we're not sure what's really going on with that chicken. It wasn't tender. Now, that was the worst thing about this. The best thing was the brisket. Everything was good. The brisket was so, it was in a puddle of juice. It was that moist. Uh, the ribs came off flawless off the bone. Absolutely amazing. And then you're talking about the pulled pork. There were some dry spots, a little bit of tough uh, towards the skin, but overall it was delicious. The sides, didn't care for the beans. The beans didn't have the, uh, I'm more of a brown sugar baked beans guy. It's their recipe. They were a little soft and mushy. Uh, coleslaws were all good, and uh, I was very impressed. So definitely come here. Yeah, I'm coming back. We're gonna do a wing wars here next, later on in the future. But for right now, that's it, you guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.